I would like to ask you about the use of police powers during the coronavirus crisis. Um, in April, the Joint Committee on Human Rights said that COVID-19 fixed penalty notices were, and I quote, muddled, discriminatory and unfair, end quote. And this is backed up by the Met's own FPNs and COVID-19 enforcement report from May 2020 that showed that black Londoners appear to be more than twice as likely to be issued with a fixed penalty notice under coronavirus restrictions. So my question is, what have you learned from this data and how are you going to eradicate disproportionality? Thank you for the question. It's, a, it's an extremely good uh, question uh, and uh, it's an extremely difficult question to answer because eradicating disproportionality is not something which the police service will manage uh, on its own. Uh, let, let, let's, let's be clear about this. Um, our officers issued fixed penalty notices uh, often in a last resort. We had a very clear policy on this which was we would deal with egregious breaches whereby people ran birthday parties or or events and invited 20 or 30 people, then we, we would hand out tickets to everybody who was there and principally to the organiser. We try to restrict our issuing of tickets to people on the street uh, who were just either making a mistake uh, or didn't understand the restrictions. Uh, and we, we engaged through what we called the four E's policy, which was to engage with people, to educate uh, them as to what the, what the conditions were, and to explain uh, what the sanctions would be if they didn't, uh, didn't comply. The fourth E was enforcement, and we did issue a, a large number of tickets, but in terms of proportionality, uh, actually, we, we were quite sparse in our issuing of tickets because we realised that there is a difficulty within an urban environment such as London. And it's a simple fact that uh, if you live in dense housing and you don't have a, a garden space to use, uh, and you can't use open spaces because of the restrictions, that you are going to be more likely to breach conditions than if you have a nice garden to sit in and listen to the radio and do your work, etc. And the reality, as we all know, is that the black and Asian populations, the various black communities and Asian communities across London, live in more dense housing, are less likely to have gardens, are more likely to be in multiple occupancies or in flats uh, and apartments and tower blocks than corresponding white population. So it is inevitable that our officers would come across people from black communities and Asian communities who were breaking the legislation. We tried where we could uh, to engage the first, four, uh, first three E's and only move to uh, enforcement as a last resort. Uh, so I would say to you, how can we eradicate uh, disproportionality by combining the might of London and all the agencies in London and help from the mayor and the government to do more for black and Asian communities because the disproportionality, and when we do meet on the PCC, we'll have long discussions about this, disproportionality figures for black and Asian communities in policing as it does in housing, education, health, sort of employment, time. et cetera, et cetera. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to have to stop you there, but um, can you provide me with up-to-date data from May 2020 to present showing the ethnicity breakdown of FPNs issued Perhaps you could um, send me the, those things. I'm going to stop and leave the rest of the time for my fellow. Happy to members. respond, yeah. 